the oh. name. And uh, I was driving. We went to go get smokes at Wawa, and it was like four in the morning. And I'm like, right now you're gonna have to drive. And I could just see the look on his face. He's like, yes. And I could see him drive, and he's like, I'm driving a fucking Lamborghini right now. Oh, he took. Oh, he was so happy. Which one'd you take? See, I, I forget Perfect. because I always drive it, so it's just like normal to me. I guess that <laughs> sounds kind of dickheadish, but oh. this kid was having a blast, and I was just like stoked to see somebody like yeah. so happy to drive. I thought they were the haunted. No. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> cool, the haunted. Dude, you missed it. Now it's not know. so cool. Why didn't you come? Because I was at Brianna's baby's first birthday party. Oh. First birthday party? He's never going to remember it. It was a rager. After I know. We that kid ain't even going to remember it. I know. We were dancing on the tables. But why is one already? When people, when people like cancel on you for like, because they have to go to a christening or something like that, I'm like, dude. The baby is not gonna remember. Just send send the send the parents a check for when the kid's five. So they can take him to Toys R Us. You missed the haunted and you missed the agonist. Offer a baby that will never remember it anyway. But I, I wasn't there just for Ryder. I was there for Brianna. She's my best friend. Yeah, but you were there for a while. I know. I was having a fucking blast. Oh, like what did you do? Did you get loaded? Yeah. At the did you? At the thing? I drank some wine. And well, did you get loaded? Because you never do it with me. I drank some wine, and I ended up dancing on the tables with Skylar all night. All right. That's a lot so of wine. Skylar is my seven-year-old friend. Oh, Answer the question. Yeah. Did well, you get loaded? Buzzed. Dude, you're... Oh, I'm so oh. fucking mad. You're gonna fire get, her too. I only get buzzed. Her I can only fire one around. person a day, and Chad was threatening to get fired, but I can't do it. Hey, all she had, all she went, all she did was went to have a good time. Had a good time. Yeah. yeah, but he never wants me to have a good time. He wants bull, me to take bullshit. care of him. And I want you to have really? a good time w with me, That's and it, you only have like a beer, and and then there's like half left at when we go to the note. You never, dr you always drink like a half of one, and then this time you go have a bunch of wine, and then you start dancing on tables. Yeah. This is muffed up. You know, no, now, there's bam. a perfectly good reason. Do you want me to explain it? Yes. It's because when you and I are out together, I feel responsible for you, and you're so out of control that I need to be in control of the situation, or oh, we're going to die or get arrested or something terrible. So when you're not this there, is when you're not there, and I'm with my girlfriends, I can let loose. That's and blasphemy. Just, well, and if, just have a good time. If, if you don't mind my, my little stupid two cents. No, I'd love it. Maybe, perhaps, you are a bit too much of a fatalist when you and Bam go out. And Bam, tell the truth. Are you a bit jealous when Missy goes out and has fun when you're not around? Does that make you a little bit jealous? Tell the uh, truth. Only when we get into a fight and then she has to go out with her friends and act like she has a good time and then she takes all these, like, Nice looking photos of them like having all this fun. Are you talking just about to the Coldplay concert? Yes, I'm talking about the fucking Coldplay <laughs> fucking concert. I didn't pretend to have a good time. That was a f really good time. Ugh. Now, now, let me ask you this. Is alcohol always involved in your good times? No, not for me. I barely even like to drink. Ma'am, because I noticed when you were saying a good time, good time, the alcohol, the, the, the equation of alcohol versus good time always came into it. So. Well, I'll tell you why, because... I can't go out to a bar and then have all these strangers talk to me about fucking nonsense and be sober. Because I'm like, I want to leave. I got to leave. I can't. Yeah, exactly. And it's so your bar. If I sip on a beer, then I'm fine. Right. Is that muffed up? That's a good point. No, that is. That's, that's But if I'm point. sober, I'm like, you're so annoying. This sucks. And I want to leave. <laughs> but I did want to see the Riverboat Gamblers and then I had the fucking, I ate this lobster fucking ravioli with cream in it at Tekka and it was pretty okay but then I went <laughs> like minutes before Riverboat Gamblers go on my stomach was just like <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I was like oh fuck and now I'm thinking I'm like alright that bathroom is off limits upstairs is definitely off limits because people could I could go in that one but as soon as I I'm like I can't do this and then Missy's like well what about Drew tattoo shop two doors up I'm like good point where is he so he's talking to somebody I'm like Drew do you have the keys to the tattoo shop? He's like, yeah, why? I'm like, we need to go there right now. He's like, okay, well, why? I'm like, I got to take a minging-ass, liquid-ass <laughs> shit, and it needs to happen right now, and, like, we need to run. <laughs> so he's like, okay. So we bolt up there. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to put on some music so I don't have to hear it. <laughs> Man, I shut the door instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking horrible. At least you made it. Bro. <laughs> At least you made it to the bathroom. And I'm, I'm here with Zach right now, and uh, he was in <laughs> he was in 
<laughs> Where were you? Saudi Arabia? No, Iraq. No, it was, yeah, the death. He was in the Marines. It was, uh, it and we were just hard. talking about shit stories, and this yeah. one is yeah, pretty had, fucking uh, fabulous. You gotta keep in mind, like, it's really fucking hot in the desert. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. But, <laughs> but it, on your uniform, you have to wear, like, a, a t shirt underneath of, of your uniform. So. When it's that hot, one of the tricks that everybody does is you cut the t-shirt in half so it's more like a bra. So it looks like you're wearing a t-shirt, but it helps helps keep you cool. And uh, so... So you have a belly shirt. You have a belly shirt on, but you can't see it unless you take your Dude, shirt Dude, that's off. Medea Cole 80s right there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool fad. But, uh... So I was fucking around with a couple of my buddies and thought I would light a fart on fire. <laughs> And it's like MREs don't mix well, so it's like liquid <laughs> shit, and I just I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> and and how many people saw it? Oh, dude, it was well, like when it first happened, nobody really knew, and then it, it was like going down the back of my leg into the top of my boots. <laughs> Ew, man. Oh. Yeah, it was bad. So like I took I took my shirt off. I don't even know why. I shouldn't have taken my shirt off, but I took my shirt off, so I'm wearing like a belly t-shirt. <laughs> and then I took uh, I took my pants off. Because I had shit all over me. <laughs> and so I'm wearing, like, combat boots and a belly T-shirt. And I go outside to walk across the way to the latrine. There's like Now, now how many people are watching this? Oh, there's, like, 40 or 50 people walking around. Are they dying? Oh, uh, yeah. it's Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Zach shit himself. Take a look. Okay, w were you, like, playing the embarrassed role? Or were you just trying to laugh it off? I, you don't... You don't really give a fuck because you you just yet you're with these people for so long and, mm -hmm. and you all become tight. So it's like I wasn't really embarrassed about them, but that's... tight enough to see liquid shit drip through your ass. So, yeah, totally. totally. <laughs> Dude, what, what, now, what I want to know is everyone around you who watch you try and force the fire and spat, spat, splatter the batter or however you want to fucking say. What? <laughs> how? What did they do when they saw all this liquid shit just pour out in place where a fart should have been? Oh, dude, they fell out of the seat. <laughs> uh, I would love to have been there, man. Yeah, they, That's fucking awesome. Yeah, they fell out of their seat. But like, I got caught before I got to the showers. I got like, there's a, you know. What is that illegal? What do you mean you got what, caught? What, what well, no, what what the, the sergeant, you, have a, you have a commanding officer. And, like, what, when, the command, whenever you're, what did the commander say when you were painting the town brown? Uh, dude, it comes out like whenever, whenever somebody that's a higher rank comes around, they call attention. And everybody has was to he mad? Send that attention. <laughs> so I got caught halfway between the tent where I shit myself and where the showers were, and they call attention. So I'm standing there with like my dick swinging in the wind and shit down the back of my leg, <laughs> and I'm wearing a belly t-shirt and boots. Oh, dude, that's muff. Did they ask you to explain yourself? Oh or? my god, dude, he can't. He like made a beeline right for me, man. He's got all these people in uniform that are looking the way they're supposed to. And then there's a dipshit in boots and a belly shirt with shit on him. So, <laughs> like, that deserves an explanation, so. Dude, that rarely ever happens to me, but, like, I'd say two years ago, we went to the Downingtown Movie Theater. It was me, Missy, and Hoof Pate. And, uh, <laughs> and I don't know what happened, but r as soon as we left, I realized that I had to, like, shit real bad, like, uncontrollably. And... <laughs> And uh, I'm just like thinking about, I'm like, okay, if I just sit down in the car, I could probably make it back to the house. And I'm just trying not to think about it. And then <laughs> after 20 minutes of driving, I sit, literally made it to the where my fence starts at the house. And then I started to think about typing in the gate code, driving all the way to the edge, and then walking to the, <laughs> walking to the back door, and then getting a key, and then opening it, and then go, I'm like, this is... This is gonna take too long. I pulled over at the fence and I was like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so I shit at the edge of my fence and I literally drove 20, 20 minutes and I couldn't even make it two more minutes. <laughs> like, I just saw my fence. I was like, I can't do this. I wonder if that's mentally knowing that. I just. I like chocolate. Like, I, I, I literally would have shit myself. <laughs> or I won't yeah. budge. I don't know if it's mental because I. I think sometimes it's just, like, laziness. I've sat on my couch before. This happens probably once a year to me because I'm such a dirtbag, I guess. But, like, I've sat on my couch and my bathroom's 10 feet away and I'll shit myself. Because I'm like, no, <laughs> I'll wait. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Like, it's, it sucks what? to say. Like, you know when you dance in front of the toilet 
and like I always have a belt on, and sometimes I'm, uh, my belt what? gets trimmed. What the fuck is he talking about? Dance? I don't know, like, dude. Like when you're standing there, you gotta go, and you're like you're tapping your feet because you gotta go. You just uh, gotta get your pants okay. down. Like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You, you, wait you, you're you're kidding though, but like you'll you'll shit yourself. No, I yourself. swear to God, I'm telling the truth. So you you basically need depends undergarments for lazy people rather than the elderly. Well, if there's like a if the show sucks, then I'll take a shit. No, you're no. I'm you telling mean, you, you don't want to miss a part of a TV show to get up to go to the bathroom. You rather just have I an swear accident? to God, we can put Rachel on the loudspeaker of the phone right now, and she will confirm what I'm saying. Wait, you just sit there in your own shit? shit? No, dude, I don't sit there in my shit. Like, <laughs> unbelievable. Like, I'll just, like, it, you know, I don't know, whatever. Fuck it me. is unbelievable. Wait, don't judge me. Babe, did I, did I ever tell you about the time I shit my, my basement sink? <laughs> oh, what about the one in the bar again? I, I could not, no. dude, I could not. Get up! To, I was drinking Coronas and hot sauce. You know that Michelada thing I always drink, and I had I had about half a bottle of hot sauce in me. Why do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm in my basement doing my laundry, and I have one of those old. You know, it's a hundred year old house, so it has one of those humongous porcelain sinks, and it had a clog in it, so there was all this water in it. I was like, "Fuck it! I can't make it up the stairs." <laughs> so it's all, it's all dripping on the go side. Again? <laughs> You know how it sounds, it's all gurgling out, all bubbly, right? <laughs> so I so I re in there and I think it's just gonna go down. You know, I figure it's just gonna wash away and I didn't realize there was a clog in the sink. And it was just went in all this water. About a week later I went in there I went down there and A week later. Dude, there were big clear tubular worms. About like like eat like I was very, like like a foot long each. That's fucking disgusting. I feel like I'm gonna vomit, dude. Right now. I was so yeah, fucking, fucking freaked, all sick. wiggling and squiggling into <laughs> shit water, and I got so fucking freaked out. I didn't know what to do. Dude, dude, dude. I didn't know. So I poured bleach in there to kill the motherfuckers, oh, and man, I immediately went to the doctor. You're doctors. definitely fired now, bro. I went to the doctor. Yeah, I was gonna hire you back, but I you're fucking fired. I described to him what I saw, and he he said he said, well, that's normal. There there are microbes in your shit. Which actually fucking hey, he's like, no, you don't have a tapeworm or anything like that. It's a natural thing when shit sits stagnant in the water. He's like, he's like, you know, like down a sewer, there's all kinds of weird life that people don't even know about. It's his own weird life. Dude, there's life in the sewer. Place. Is that like Jenkins in there? Freaked me the fuck out. There. And it was high so in sick. In Did you throw the sink away? Did you replace the sink? It's like 500 pounds. It's a big old ass. So that means still, no. It's still there. <laughs> well, no, no. I, I poured the bleach in there and I stirred it around. It eventually all went down. Jesus it was Christ. so awful. It was yeah. like a horror movie. Like and I've just never seen this? big, thick, clear worms all squiggling and wiggling. <laughs> all, oh, yucky! Like, what do you think their diameter was? Their diameter was like as each was about as thick as my index. Finger. How long did it take oh. for them Jesus. to get there? Christ. About a week. Why what the, the fuck, fuck did, did you, you? Why didn't you just yeah, get rid of it? I didn't know. Was, I didn't go down the base. I didn't even do forget? my laundry. Dude, you shit in your sink. You go check that thing later. I've You'll leave it for a fucking yeah. week. You clean it up when you feel Good. better. Fuck you. Hell. It did turn a Jenkum in there? All right, well, I'll tell you. I'll never tell you another one I've never told anybody before. Never mind. Oh, God. So you already started now. Once you do that shit, you tell it. All right. Should we go to the song first and tell it when we come back? So you guys yes, forget. sir. You're on a roll now, though. We're right. not going to forget. All right, guys, when we come back, the shit story Joe Franz never told. Told, told. Fuck you, you're fired. Let's hear this right. agonist right now from Montreal. It's basically Cradle of Filth with a pretty hot singer. Let's rock. Oh. And it's coming on soon. Sure it is. Oh, oh wait, let me tell you the title. Oh, uh, I don't even have the... F What's it called? I'm slow today. <sighs> it's number two on the track. Google I'm slow it. today. <sighs> What's the name of the band? The Agonist. They stayed at the house all night, and uh, Doom Buggy's pretty much total, but <laughs> hey, it was pretty fun. Shit, I'll take that thing. And they were pretty nice, right, Mizzy? Yeah, they were really nice, they but I nice. thought that they were the haunted. <laughs> <laughs> when well, did girl, you figure out that it wasn't? Five five minutes ago. And Get you just the said it on fuck out of here. Oh, God. oh, man. I'm not kidding. Hey, hey, the haunted, haunted, she has a spooky voice. I don't know. It made yeah. sense to me. The Haunted is a guy singer. Everybody I knows that. I don't know. I don't know who The Haunted is. Everybody knows that. No, not me. Oh I didn't my know. god. Let's put. Right. <laughs> it's Radio. Radio. Bam. Ryan Dunn. This is Ryan Dunn, and you've tuned in to Radio Bam. I have no idea why they gave us this stupid show. Whoever hired us should have their job title reevaluated. Because they are a fuck up. Roller Rager, Roller Rager. He's rolling around and he's feeling the danger. danger. 
Not how it goes. <laughs> Not how it goes. <laughs> Not how it goes. Major. It's a major label. It's a major label. It's an indie label. Dude, you know what? Like, filming this video, coming up, what? A1 Roller Rager. Well, we'll be CKY. shooting it. We'll be shooting it today when this airs. Pretty much, yeah. Well, yeah, it is true. Yeah. <laughs> So well, was that the point of the story? No, there's so many, there's so many rules of what you can't do that, like, you know. No, I wouldn't. Think. You have to have futuristic weapons, like stuff that Don't kids can't give get. It away. I'm not, but I'm saying, you like, did no, come on, yeah, but they don't know what it is. Let's let it see. But I'm just saying, like, it's if a, you have a razor blade or a, a bat or something like that, like, then a kid could go do that, blame it on the video, and then you're blame in it. trouble. Why can't? parents take responsibility or the kids it's fucking ridiculous blame it on the rain raise their children why can't there be a test for parenthood i mean fuck man you gotta you gotta take a test to drive a car but huh. I, I mean i don't know I, but I, I i just don't see how like okay you watch a movie or whatever and then like let's just say a bunch of rappers go out and shoot somebody and then somebody does the same thing and then they blame it on the movie tit for tat dad it was it's a copycat ridiculous. cry it's bullshit. I just did it was a copycat crowd. I don't know what illegal. I saw it on Boys in the Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Tit for tat. Well, I, well, I didn't know I saw it on Boys in you the know, Hood. You know what it is? It's all case law. So the, the lawyers at you know, any kind of network or label have to look at the case law. I have to see what happened in court to set precedent for what they could possibly get sued for. And then they see, like, some fucking moron throws a bowling ball off of a, off of a bridge. Well, I saw it on Beavis and Butthead. I didn't know. <laughs> How do you oh, not the kids know? I saw it on Beavis and Butthead. So what if he killed an old lady with a fucking bowling ball off a bridge? The penalty. Let's sue Beavis and Butthead. The penalty should be kill your parents for being morons. How about that? I think the parents. I think in a case like that, the parents. I, I don't know. I think a judge. I, well, I, I guess he can't. Wouldn't it be great if know. a judge actually was like, okay, you slipped on a grape at a grocery store and you won a million dollars? Yes, I do. You're an idiot. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, deal with it. You have a hipper. So what? Well, you know... <laughs> you have a hipper. It, it, it does go the other way. For example, you know, of, of course, the first thing that comes to mind is the woman who, quote, spilled coffee on herself and sued McDonald's. You guys remember that yes. one? Yes. Well, now, McDonald's was actually, as it turns out, which is highly unpublicized, the fact that... McDonald's was making their coffee so boiling hot because they were offering free refills, so they made it so fucking scalding that it took about an hour to get to a drinkable temperature. So the coffee actually melted the styrofoam cup on the woman's lap, melted through the cup, and gave her a third-degree burn on her vagina. Would you hump it? I've had worse. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> You want yeah. names? Do you, do you want names or do you oh, want a yeah. list? Yeah. I think that's definitely Sue worthy. It's not like she just spilled it on herself. It melted the cup and burned her vagina. I would sue if that third, happened third to Third degree. I didn't, I didn't disagree with that one. Yeah, that's I disagree horrible. with slipping on a grape at a grocery store. You're an <laughs> idiot. You're a moron and you're clumsy. How about that? Well, there are people who make their livings by going into apartment buildings and slipping on stairs. And like, like what one of the techniques a con artist will do is they go into an apartment building and they make friends with the landlord's kid, and like you know they bring them candy and stuff like that. So they make real good friends with them, and then they fall down. That the just steps. sounds wrong already. And then they, they fall down the bring steps. Them candy in front of the kid, and so when the kid goes to court, it's like they you know so basically they have to pit the child is pitted against its own parent. Which is very sick, if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I bringing down the show here? Fun. <laughs> talking about case law and legal. Fun. Please tell me a joke that you did on the road when we were in Maine. I talked about this yesterday, but I mean, not yesterday. Last week. Yes, week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you weren't even here, and you didn't bring the fucking tape, and you didn't do it again. Well, I, well, I, I didn't know we were going on the radio today, so I didn't bring the tape, which you will hear soon. But what we did was we developed kind of like a little stupid stand-up routine that I would do in front of people, which kind of evolved out of me acting like an asshole. But purposely 
horrible, horrible jokes. So the whole point of the story is for the whole crowd to be like, Fuck you, you pussy, and get off the stage. You're not even funny. Yeah, the whole point to, to the routine was to make as many people feel as uncomfortable as possible for <laughs> as long of a period as possible. So I would kind of stand up there and be like, Hey, everybody, how you doing? This is the Ming Hag's Dream Seller Tour by Monster Energy Drink. Here's Bam Margera. <laughs> <laughs> of Bam Margera of Jackass and Viva La Bam. You know him, you love him, you've seen him on the CKY videos. It's Mark the Sasquatch Hanna. <laughs> and, and like, so now... I, I'm I'm coming on strong, and I, I'm making these weird noises in between introductions. And like, uh, okay, and they're kind of clapping and everything, and then so I introduce everyone they the first you're time. Fucking nuts! And then dude. I start introducing them the second time. So everyone gets a second. Who gets introduced twice? And like, okay, everybody. So uh, before we uh, and then and then I do the crash and burn. They must so have I still that you on so many drugs or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get all nervous. Yeah, yeah. So and then you start holding the get... paper and shaking it, and then swigging a beer and spilling it out of your mouth, and then wiping it with your stupid flannel. I pronounce every nerve. <laughs> I pronounce every nervous tick known to man. I'm like winking one eye. I'm like sniffing. I'm like contorting my face. I'm standing in an awkward position in front of fucking hundreds of people. You're reading off the paper, And reading too. off a paper, and my hand is visibly shaking the paper. But, but why were you so confident and had all this energy beforehand? Yeah, yeah, and then you just yeah. crash and burn. It's like <laughs> these people in the crowd are probably, what the fuck? They don't know what, yeah, my personality just changes. I heard people go, you suck. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, so I, 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 I you know, I, I basically go. Drop the, drop the mic, loser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, you know, I, I come on strong. I go from fucking Casey Case and the Don Knotts in fucking five minutes, right? <laughs> so then I start my stand-up routine. Like, okay, everybody. Casey Case, remember yeah, he did yeah. the fucking... I just think that the audience is a little younger. <laughs> yeah, well, my fault. Yeah. So, so now I say one of the kids yell, get off the stage, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what about the one, the one girl in the corner that you made eye contact with in mid-horrible oh. joke? And she just goes... <laughs> her whole body shrunk like a foot. She's like, when's this guy going her, her body gonna expression conveyed the, the fact up. she could not wait for me to dry up and blow away. Like, so it's okay. So let me, let me, yeah, this is pretty much what the crowd sounds like. So, so I'm like, so here's me. I'm like, hey, everybody, how's it going? So, um, so, uh, but, uh, so, uh, so it's a good crowd, it's a good crowd, it's a great town. Uh, I love this town because it's not like my town. My town is uh, th there's only one bar. Boo! But uh, right, guys. But um, it, it, it's five miles longer, right, Yay! guys? Hey, you know what I mean, guys? No, no. Grass um, skirts. Well, um, hey, in my town, all the gr girls wear grass skirts, guys. Boo! No one likes that. But uh. All boys have lawnmowers. Yay! <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you do the old thing. In, and then, in, uh, in my town, uh, girls wear skirts, you know, down to their ankles. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> but they start at their knees. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so everyone starts reacting like that. And then I go into the knock-knock jokes, which is like, oh, who, okay. who gets that? What comedian oh, tells knock-knock oh. jokes? But the, the Any knock-knock joke can never be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By definition, knock-knock jokes cannot be funny. But the big crowd pleaser was <laughs> this. Um, did you guys hear about the, um, the European actor whose name was Penis Van Lesbian? <laughs> That's right. His name was Penis Van Lesbian. But to change it in front of American audiences, they had to change it to Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke. Jesus. Get it? They pulled the old switcheroo, guys. Guys? Uh, Get okay, this pussy off the stage. So I, that, that's my stand-up. You stand suck! Yeah, yeah. What was the instruments in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, my last girlfriend, she had a great, great butt. Believe me, it was a great butt, and her butt was like a symphony, you know, an orchestra, because there were a lot of instruments in there, a lot of instruments in there, <laughs> you know what I mean, guys, because like, uh, well, um, uh, well, so now you guys know, wait, I learned another one, um, your, the, my girlfriend's butt was like finding $125, you, you, you think of all, all the things you can do with it. Oh, what you can do with that? I, uh, I like you right dollars. Now. Wait, dollars. guys, I, dollars. I know another one. So I, I was like, you just I, keep no, on. No. You said, I learned another. Wait, okay. guys, I learned another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, now if, if, if you're paying attention, 
the one out of every 10, 15 people who are really paying attention is like appreciates the humor. The rest of the people are like, when's this fucking douchebag going to die? I'm like counting the days so I can piss on his grave. Uh, this, this all started at the, the power sports place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Street, street, street bike thing. <laughs> you were on fire there, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude. That's what got you the motivation. Yeah. You're like, because yeah. we were laughing so bad. You're like, all right, on the next one, I'm going to do a horrible, horrible stand-up comedy routine. Yeah, it was, it was Central Maine Power Sports. They, they had these trick riders come, and I didn't even know the name of the team. I forgot the name of the team. You're like, and, congratulate. Yeah, like, the, and, and I don't know anything yeah. about motorsports, so they're doing all these great tricks, these crazy burnouts, the flips and everything. Ah, like, oh, check out that dude. Yeah, he's doing that thing. Check him out. Dude, he knows how to. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Right, guys? Yeah, oh, who saw, who saw that sweet, team. skinny burnout? Yeah. <laughs> and then I ran out of shit to say about the, the, the motorcycle dudes. I just started going to the audience. Oh, look at this dude here. There's like, there's like, you know, there's like a, a 15-year-old emo dude sitting there. I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, everybody, here's a cool dude. Stand here, you can tell he's cool. By the way, he's dressed, yeah. And like, I just yeah. keep looking over at you and everybody and Hannah and everyone. You guys are just taking so much pleasure out of it. I had to keep it going. Oh. Did we film that? Yeah, yeah, that's on film. Oh man, man. I need to see it. You that probably have the scene. tapes, and you will probably never see it. Just like your pinky. Yeah, break. I'm gonna show it. When? Soon. You're embarrassed, aren't you? Yeah. Because <laughs> you threaten to leave, and then you're like, "Fuck you guys! I'm <laughs> out of here, and I quit this tour." And then you walk down the hallway I... at the hotel, and then you go to a dead end. I'm like, "Where are you going, you moron? <laughs> if you're threatening to leave, at least go out the door. You're going to a dead end." Hey, dude, I've made. And then you have to walk past this. Like, I've done oh, way no, more. No, way I'm more really leaving. I've done way more embarrassing things. I'm not. I know I have to wait. I, I then they ask if you want to press charges, and you say yes. I didn't say yes. The fucking stupid roadie who was with you me. were wasted. No, the stupid roadie who was with me made it seem so shady. He's like, now let me ask you a question. <laughs> he broke his finger, and we can't really say he did it. Now, like all we have to do is come in with a broken finger, get it fucking fixed, and leave. He's like, it sounds like the mafia. Yeah, kid. yeah, yeah. And he's like, now what happened? I need to know if it's broken in a good place, because you can't describe how we broke it to the doctor. When now, he's the one who did you. it in the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. So the whole thing was just, I, I, oh, God, what a fucking <laughs> goddamn nightmare. Well, do you know who it was? Yeah, I know who it was. Well, do you want to press charges? I'm not, he, I'm like, he, yeah, no, at, first, yeah. at first I was like, I was like, no, I don't really want to, like, well, if someone came and broke your finger maliciously, you need to press charges, that's the way it works, you want to, I'm like, well, I, I guess that's the way, well, you know what, I found out what it was that drove me that crazy that night, was they gave me shots without me knowing it at the bar, they were like, hey, check out this new soft drink, it's called Shui, and I cannot handle hard what? liquor, Shui. Shui. yeah, and I'm, I'm fucking, I'm a stupid ass, I'm like, oh, Shui, sounds great, so I'm like, oh, Shmoo. yeah, so it had like fucking five shots in it, and I cannot do hard liquor. I go crazy. So that was a, an, an attribute yeah. that I recently found out about. That's so the, the moral of the story is don't don't slip your friend's shots. But then, then after that, Bam was boxing the lamp in the corner. Oh, that was good. Yeah, the whole night was good. Yeah. The whole night was good. It will be edited soon. But we got so much fo I got 17 hours of footage for this last tour. Dude, so much that. going. How about Novak going into the bar? How about us turning that bar into a gay bar? <laughs> That's Did you talk about great. that last time? Uh, yeah, yeah, and you didn't even show up. Faggot. Well, you can probably tell it better than we did. <laughs> oh, thanks, G. <laughs> Novak, no, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Novak <laughs> walks into this bar, and we're, we're not even, sp like, it was just a random stop. We're like, all right, let's just have a drink. There's one hour left. It's one in the morning. Bar's closed at two. Let's go here. Novak just walks instantly in. Takes off his clothes, jumps over the bar, and starts bartending naked. And all the tips that he got, he was just shoving up his ass. <laughs> now, now, and then he had a pretzel up his ass that he did like three hours before <laughs> that he forgot about. It, it was, so then he went out. He walked out of the bar, not even two feet from the door. He shits out the pretzel, <laughs> and the owner's sitting there just like, "What the fuck is going on?" But that was like a hot, spicy, like a. Uh... Pretzel. How did you even taste it? <laughs> yeah, because we're eating them all day. <laughs> you tasted the one in his ass. No. Oh. It's it the same one. <laughs> no way. Hey, so. Speaking of shit, Franz kind of looped around telling his uh, never told shit yeah. story. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Didn't think I was going to let you get away with that. <laughs> well, I did think a whole for myself. Okay. I know that, like, I know that right now my future wife is listening and she's never going to fucking go out with me. 
because she's going to hear the story and my whole fucking karma with my future wife will. Well, anyway, anyway. Just like the time you blew uh, <laughs> shit on the toilet bowl <laughs> bar. So here's what happened. I, I was going out with a girl at Rhode Island School of Design years ago. And she wanted to go to this concert, and it was a, uh, it was a, it was like a, you know, it was a, it was an orchestra. So we go, do it again. What? <laughs> what? what? All right, anyway, so she, I don't know what that is. I don't know what's so funny here. So we go to the concert, and I had to take shit so bad that it was. <laughs> okay, I, get the point. Right. I don't know why that's funny. Okay, so we're in the middle of a concert. It was Mizorski Pictures at an exhibition. It's a big concert hall we go to, and I had to fucking take a shit real bad. So I, I excuse myself. I go to the bathroom, and I notice in the bathroom someone had already taken a mean diarrhea, and it was just shitty diarrhea toilet paper in the bowl. <laughs> No so, one else can hear this. If you don't have headphones on, you don't understand what we're laughing about. It's the sound effect. The sound I guess, effect I guess this is funny. They're amazing. Should I not tell the rest of the story? Keep going. We'll I didn't try. know where you started. I'm, I'm, listening. I'm into I, I, sound effect. I didn't even Shut know there was a story at this point. You're fired. All right. Wait, who's fired? Me or Jay? All right. Should I continue to tell the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get you new story music. Right. Um, you can't. You can't play I can't that. concentrate yeah. with everyone laughing. I you can't play that song anymore. <laughs> Dude, that sound is just... Because I'll just laugh the whole time. If you story. want to hear me laugh oh, yeah. for an hour, then play that. <laughs> so, so what should we talk about? <laughs> Let's talk about playing this Riverboat Gambler right. song, because I got to piss. <laughs> All right, this song's called Victory Lap, and it's off their new album, Underneath the Owl. Riverboat Gamblers, they live in Austin, Texas. Yeah, Radio Bam, Series 20. <laughs> You're listening to Radio Bam. It's Radio Bam. Action. Yeah, man. What'd you think of that, Franz? It was the best thing I've ever heard. What was it? <laughs> riverboat gamblers. Where were the flutes? I don't know. Why? Should a riverboat gambler have a flute? I I'm just so old that all the music I listen to has flutes in it. <laughs> there we go. That's This is my kind of tune. <laughs> ah. Back in the old country. <laughs> Sounds like Mike Feedback music. That guy sucks at it. <laughs> it's horrible. It's like a, a recorder. It's a big head. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, <laughs> about to, oh, about to your break ne your next cross gig. Buttons. You're going to have to pick a new You should get on stage kid. and play a recorder. Yeah, you know what's funny, next Chad, time. is that a lot of people, like the first year you were playing the sound effects, everyone thought it was Deco. Like, that noise that Deco played was so funny. It's like, Deco has... Wasn't even on the radio then, like, but uh, <laughs> where do you, Chad? Where do you find inspiration for all these sounds that you bring? That's one. Of, that's a good one. Play, play the boner noise. What's the, the boner losing, noise? The losing the boner noise and the gaining the boner noise. <laughs> the soft on. Uh, Let's yeah, hear the soft I, on I, first. It's hard to find. Or I guess it would be a soft off. Okay. Well, <laughs> right. Damn, I forget what that is, man. <laughs> you have a charge. I forget that one. Oh, okay, I know what it is. Is this the soft ladies, off? Ladies and gentlemen, a boner. Oh. No, that's losing a boner. <laughs> and let's let's hear the boner rise. I don't well, know that happened. guy's confused. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a bisexual getting a boner. That's not like jerking off. <laughs> um, what 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 else? Whoa, that's a stiffy right there, dude. You just saw a girl pick up a can of peas at the AMP. Can you play that one sound effect <laughs> that had us laughing? <laughs> oh, if you're out there listening, sign on to my site. It's myname.com. Click on updates and then go to I Fucked Your Wife. Pretty fucking funny, dude. I 30 times I still can't get enough. Yeah, but it should be called I Fucked My Wife because that's what you're doing. Right, Chad? Right. That's what he said when he was yeah. when he was a half a bottle of Jack D. Why was he mad he about remember. it? I don't know. He was mad because you drank all that Jack. He didn't even remember opening it. I wasn't mad. I love how your impersonation of Chad people... is the exact same as your impersonation of Novak. I know. <laughs> it is similar. Isn't it weird how that works out? It is similar. It's, crazy. it's not similar for any good reason. <laughs> dude, dude, Hannah was it supposed to... It should be called I Fucked My Wife because that's what you're doing. Dude, Hannah was Everybody supposed Everybody knows it's your wife. Yeah, but Dunn's playing the part. That's, if you it get was the one first big funny time. joke. We we were just having fun, man. 
Can you do it a done impersonation? Fun, a done? Yeah. You were really, there isn't really I one. Can do, I can do You're dark. really having sex What's on it? No. I, I showed my mom it, and she was laughing her ass off, but she's like, Are you really doing that? I'm like, No! I, like I the, got boxes on sometimes. I like the up the stairs <laughs> part. Let's hear your done up impression. Up the stairs? Your done yeah. impression. Yeah, dude, the up the stairs thing was funny in fast motion. It was so weird. Um, was the, my, uh, let's hear done. I, Ryan, no. uh, okay, here's here's <laughs> me. when you know, you know, he has that shop. He's always working on cars. So one day I go to his shop. I'm like, I'm dying to find out what the fuck he's doing all the time over there. I'm like, what the fuck is... Because I asked Zach's three... always there. What is he you. doing? I asked three dudes dude, who work there. I can tell you there. stories and stories about what Yeah, dude, I asked there. three dudes who work know. there. And, and, and I'm like, how? what does he do out there? They're like, we don't really know. Well, we Zach work is stuff. there all the time. I want to know. Fuck well, you. What, is, <laughs> <laughs> what does he... I'm, I'm not kidding. What the fuck does he do there? He, he doesn't do shit. He's, Fuck you! <laughs> he watches It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He watches it's He's all, pounding he down. He watches Top Gear. Yeah. And he drinks energy drinks. And then when they kick in, he goes inside the shop area. It starts tearing and apart. fucks it up. And then he <laughs> can't put it back together. Like takes shit apart like a meth addict? Dude, no. Like 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 a fucking... Like a, you just let a monkey into a store and they yeah. just start <laughs> ripping shit apart. Yeah. Here's done. Here's done when you go to visit him. He wants to show you everything. He's like, okay, okay, uh, first round. He's like, you now he has that like real gruff voice from fucking, you know, <laughs> nine packs a day for the past twenty years. Okay, everyone, so like, okay, th this is th this right here. Okay, you gotta check this out. Okay, this is a this is a CD player, but it's it's, it's when they had the dual lasers. They had the dual lasers in 1984, and I had to because I had to make a uh, a law that you, you couldn't, couldn't get the dual layers because the, what the dual layers? <laughs> everyone was afraid they would couple the lasers. Now it's like other things. So, uh, but I have that one, and there was one in a box, and I. Got it. Like all special, so over here. Okay, now if 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 think about a car, right? Now a car goes like the cars that I drive. They go like 220 miles an hour, right? That fast. So now the decibels, right? Think about a sound decibel. They don't go that fast. So now you gotta optimize the sound system in the car while you're going fast. So what? So I have the speaker here, and then the speakers actually the speakers. But and so I'm like, wow, done. So let me get this straight. So so the so the speaker possibly get that straight. The speaker pumps out the decibels as fast as the speed of the car. Car, so therefore, the the car kind of becomes a speaker in and of itself. That's Fuck right. You. I'm like, I'm like, that's great, Dom. What do you go into production and make all that money? Because, well, it's entirely impractical. It'll never work. You can't go into production. I'm like, because hold it. So I pick it up. It's like fucking so five. It's like five hundred pounds. Dude, he lives in his and, and I'm like, world, man. Yeah, it's like really it's like if the speaker's five hundred pounds. Like, plus, the speaker's so powerful, it had to have a special uh, a special power source so that it was, you know, this guy should work. Dude. So, so therefore, you have to take a race car, which you have to go fast and be light, and then you have to double the weight. It's so, so it's entirely practical. You. It's not going to work. And I'm it's like, so well, done. Did you have to build it to find out it wouldn't work? I just needed to build it. I just, I, I needed to get it done. I'm like, what the f done? He's like Willy Wonka, done. man. It's his calm, own little world. Done. T calm down. Take an aspirin. Like, <laughs> like, start smoking pot. I don't know, man. Just slow. Joe, I went in there yeah. one time, and he had, you know how he has all those cameras with, like, the little tripods and shit? Yeah. Spring and he lens. had taken apart his pinball machine, or the bowling machine at his house. And he had taken three, like honestly, about three hundred pictures of him rewiring the bowling machine <laughs> and zooming in at different angles and showing me all these pictures, right? And I was like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "Let me show you. Let me just show you something real quick on on YouTube." And he was like, "That's fucking stupid. Why would I want to look at that?" I was like, "Why would I want to look at three hundred pictures of you rewiring a fucking bowling alley?" <laughs> Fuck you. Let's go get something to eat, Ryan. I fucking hate watching people chew. <laughs> I hate watching people chew. Dude, you know, you know what the weird part is, though? When he had that special CD player from 1984 with the fucking dual lasers, I'm like, cool. I'm like, let's hear some sounds, bro. He tells me how he optimized the whole shape of the room to make the, make it sound, you know, better than any sound system in the world, basically. And I'm like, well, lay some sounds on me. He fucking, Lay puts some on, sales. he fucking puts on Lionel Richie, White Knights. What was that song? He uh, loves Lionel. Say you, say me, <laughs> bring it together, natural. I'm like, when you say to Lionel Richie, you have the world's best CD player and the world's best sound system for Lionel Richie. And he's in heaven. He's sitting there smoking those fucking cigars. Oh, it's crazy. How does he make any money out of that place? Dude, I, he... He doesn't, man. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Holy well, shit, dude. I walked into his office the other day. This is what you know his office is like, 8 foot by 10 foot. <laughs> this motherfucker had a high-powered <laughs> rifle. <laughs> Literally, it's like this breakaway BB gun that's super high-powered with a fucking telescopic 
scope on this motherfucker that can reach out and touch the moon. And he's shooting at a target eight feet away from him looking through the scope. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Didn't he, hit, didn't he hit something across the street at A. Dewey Pile? Yeah. <laughs> what, what was it? it was, they, like, shot his, uh, like, helicopter, remote control helicopter out of the sky. <laughs> Which he really? spends, oh, dude, he spends like thousands of dollars on remote control helicopters. Oh, that's great. And then they like, they never use them. So if you go into his basement, so there's about I'm, 10 grand worth of like remote control cars. Is, so, so, man, what'd you do at work today? You know, you get a lot of clients with No, nah, we got a BB gun and then we had yep. a remote control helicopter yep. and then we were just trying to shoot it down. We had a sniper contest inside my office. So, you know, I, I asked Angie about him. I was like, I was like, what is Don up to? She's like, smelling. For what? Oh, he's like, look, he, he ne doesn't bait. He spends all his time there, doesn't want to have sex, and then <laughs> he stinks. He I'm, doesn't he does wash. Stink. He made me throw up in the kitchen. Really? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't notice. It's because he shoved his finger up his ass. Whoa. <laughs> and like I'm like being like Susie Homemaker. It's when we all lived at Union Street, making everybody fucking dinner. And he shoves his finger up his ass and then shoves it up my nose. And I think I had a thing of yogurt in my what, hand. What's that called? Dude, the stink finger? I don't know. Dirty Wait, Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. Yeah. No, but he went up my nose with it. And so I'm in it's there called something like a, different. a piece of shit stuck in my nose. <laughs> so I'm in the bathroom with a bar of soap trying to get it. And like, he's the, he is the most gruel mother, like gruel. gruel. Yeah, that's the gruel. only word to describe the smell of his gruel. ass. Zach, were you the guy who wore his cum shirt to the bar? No, it was Cam. That was, was Cameron? Oh, uh, I was working there the door because oh, we have a black God. light. We have a black light above the door. <laughs> He goes, hey, Ryan, I borrowed your shirt. Yeah, Don, no, no, no. Don goes, Cameron, where'd you get that shirt? He's like, oh, yeah, I had to borrow a shirt, yeah, from you. Sorry. Joke's on like, you, Don. I got well, your shirt. Where, 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 did you, where did you get it? He's like, I don't know. I found it on the floor. He's like, standing with that black light. That's been my cum rag for the last two months. It so was. <laughs> it really was. Fuck dude. you. <laughs> Dude, why do why do Cameron and Dunn look exactly like oh, these days? Oh they got God. the same thing going on. Isn't that weird? They got the same facial hair. It's weird. Well, it's simple. It's a white T-shirt and then jeans. But they have, but they have the same beard, like the same texture. Like I didn't think anyone could get Dunn's and beard tattoos. texture. Tattoos. They have similar tattoos. I think so. Huh. It's weird, man. They're like mad scientists, man. They're so smart and they can do so much shit, but they just. Watch Top Gear all day and shoot sniper <laughs> rifles. I walked into there just playing video games one day and just had pizza. How about, <laughs> how about that pompous? How about that pompous? Oh my god! <laughs> who, who it's one hundred and three k. He shows up with an Audi R eight and uh, <laughs> he's like, he shows up and his watch is like upside down and he's always trying to show it and then jeans and a blazer. What did you say? You were like, so what do you do? He's like, well, I pretty much do nothing. I'm. I come, from, I come money. from money, and I live at Rittenhouse Square, and um, I don't really do anything. Uh, but uh, I do have this Audi R8, and I do have an Audi S8, and I also... Oh, the was Porsche that... GT3. <laughs> yeah. Dude, but he had a lisp, and he was so... F uh, he was horrible. Oh, wait, I, my phone's ringing. Oh, Trump Towers. Oh, let me answer this, oh, guys. No, I, <laughs> I have to take that one, guys. I'm really sorry about this. He basically sounds like the most unfun person I've ever fucking heard he of. He was horrible. Well, when he left, I found these brass knuckles, and then I still saw him at the red light. I thought him maybe I could catch him. <laughs> Beat his little ass. He had, like, this little crony that was just along sucking his balls the whole time. He was like, yeah, that R8 is pretty fast. Uh, he's also at the Porth. And he also had. <laughs> Within inside of three minutes, I knew where all of his houses were, how much money he had, all the cars he drove. Yeah, I heard that. He just like he just met you yeah. three minutes ago, and he's telling you how much he's worth. Oh, he who just, does that? He threw up his life story into my lap. <laughs> I hated him for it. And now, wait, where did you meet this guy? He, he showed just, up at Ryan's shop. He, straight up, I, I asked. I was like, done. I was like, how do you how do you know that guy? He's like. I really, I don't really. He just kind of pulled up to brag. They're, they're here. <laughs> yeah. They're here he for pulled the up to brag. <laughs> I, I, I guess he saw the nice cars in there or whatever. Oh, uh, remember? He, he looked at your Lamborghini. He looks at the Lamborghini. He goes, I mean, see, 
you look at this Lamborghini here, and I mean, you just see them driving around all the time. Oh yeah, I actually saw eight purple Lamborghinis uh, on the way here. Like, what are you talking about? You know, we went golfing yesterday at Old Masters down Route Three, and that prick drove past us in the porch. <laughs> I wanted to hit the golf ball right into. See, it. Why do why do like so many car like cool car dudes always like out try and cool car each other? Like, I, well, I, like, what the fuck kind of comment is you see? Oh, you see these Lamborghinis <laughs> driving around all day long. Since when and where? Because I sure haven't, dude. Uh, dude, L.A. People get so jealous. Maybe. People get so jealous. Not here, dude. Not here, man, no. when you got when you had the Ferrari, he was like, like this this dude I know was like, so what, what's Bam driving now? I'm like, I'm like, ah, oh, he just got like a Ferrari, and he's like, he's like, oh well, my friend has the Ferrari Spider. Like that's your friend. <laughs> like you're bragging on your friend's car, dipshit. Yeah, well, big deal. My my friend has the Spider. Who <laughs> still says K? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, man, it, yeah, well, you know what, the, these are 104K these days. No shit, it's 104K. What do I think it is, 104 wampum? <laughs> like, <Rump. laughs> oh, 104, what, what was that, wampum? <laughs> no, 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 dollars. You know, K. Uh, Dolores. <laughs> Yeah, hey, uh, in the Ming Hai Street Cellar Tour, did you tell the, the story where Chiodo got his own room because he thought he was, he was anticipating getting laid? Oh. Uh, and what happened? Uh, well, oh, we didn't he, tell this last he, week. Yeah, yeah no. Chi Joe Chiodo, Lightning Chiodo, who <laughs> did the uh, did the assistant camera work in Ming Hai's movie and also made a cameo as the pizza boy. Well, he... <laughs> Thank you. He thought it would be a good idea, all drunk, to get himself an extra room. Even though I got him his own room with you, Jake. Yes. But he needed his own room because he thought he might get laid. Oh. Some girl was kind of, kind of coming on to him. Yes. He goes and gets his own room. Doesn't tell anybody he did nope. so. Disappears. Leaves all. Did he pay for it himself? Yes, paid for it himself. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Leaves all his camera gear with all these fucking strangers who was partying with us all over his room. So I go, I go to get everyone for the. Uh, you know, we're leaving the next day. I'm like, where is Chiota? Nobody knows. We're now an hour late. I'm packing up Chiota's expensive gear, which is just all over the room. I go to the concierge. I'm like, look, one of my guys is gone. Did you see him leave? <laughs> Thank you. I could have used that call when I, when I was looking for Chiota. So I finally make them tell me against their policy that Chiota got another room. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm pounding on the door. I'm calling him. I'm punching the door. Boom, 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 boom. Finally opens the what? what am I China? It's nine o'clock. What about be in the lobby at eight o'clock? Don't you understand? Everyone else in the fucking tour is waiting for you. And he goes, what? What? <laughs> I'm like, downstairs now, dude. Get your shit together. If you can't fucking handle drinking, don't drink. And he's like, he's like, what? Wait, what? It was everyone mad at me. I'm like, you held us up for an hour. We're supposed to be on the radio right now promoting a fucking tour. Dude, all I wanted to do was to sleep at that hotel, and it, those walls were fucking paper thin. There were seriously, like, Spanish people fucking next to me and that talking was, Spanish. Yeah, that was and then, then a door kept slamming, and I believe I was next to, like, the room service door because it kept opening and closing. And then upstairs, there was a fucking Thai bow class going on or yeah. something. Because it was like pounding up and down. It was the loudest fucking hotel I've ever been at. Couldn't sleep. Yeah. I sat there from four in the morning till like noon, just sitting there mad. Kids were jumping from above me in Hannah's room. Kids were, you could hear them jumping from floor to bed to floor <laughs> to bed. <laughs> yeah. For oh, fucking heard, four hours. I heard it too. I'm like, whose parents let them do that? Whose parents aren't, aren't, aren't overly annoyed? So I, uh, I believe actually that it was, it was the, uh, the maid had her kids with her and they were just uh, jumping around <laughs> yeah and it was right above us and vacuums so. were going off god damn it was <laughs> going off <laughs> going I, think, off. I think that i think that it was like paper drywall but dude how about toyota getting a whole nother room anticipating getting laid yeah. and not getting laid he, did, gotta feel he so didn't stupid. seal the deal yet he if you're gonna thought, pay 250 dollars yeah. to get a room you better have sealed the deal beforehand yeah. you better at least get jerked off Two hundred and fifty fucking dollars. Yeah. He got, <laughs> he, he got laid. I think the the following night because I woke up and some. Girl yeah, but that doesn't him. count. I know. Yeah, but, G. But it made up for it. <laughs> it <laughs> made up for it. I don't know. No, actually, I know you don't know. What are you talking uh, about? Now, how do you feel about about <laughs> Louis old, of the Moxie the fondling? Fondling your girlfriend's Kim's boobs in the opening sequence uh, of the uh, CKY video. <laughs> now I can't I can't promise it's going to make the actual video cut, but we did film it. And what about the kiss scene? 
I'm not going to say what they're wearing, we, but we did we did tell Louie to kiss her, and he had to do it for the camera. Ooh. Isn't that kind we weren't of upset. Like Isn't that like a lesbian scene anyway? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. <laughs> but but we did we did have Kim's boobs boring a little bit, like we could see the nice sides. Yeah, of them. I just think you're horny. <laughs> <laughs> you know it is weird though. The other week on the radio, you were like, "Yeah, Kim walks around naked." I pictured it. Does that make me a bad friend, guys? I don't, know. I don't know. I'm digging this music. Yeah, this is good. Oh yeah. This is like jam on it. Fuck yeah. You guys, Jack, could you, you break guys mind if I dance around? Delaware horn. Delaware horn. What about the Delaware horn? You, you know what? Walk around singing this. Hey man, I hate to say it, but it's time to go. And all I want to do is hear Hellions on Parade by CKY because it just leaked on the internet and. By God, we need to hear it right about now. Oh. Yeah, new CKY album, May 19th, on Roadrunner Records called Carver City. Yeah, and last time I checked, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah Chad, I, I hate to admit it. but it Why do you awesome. hate to admit it? <laughs> no, it's our best record. Here's uh, Hell Yeah, nice. Parade. Oh, yeah, and we're out of here, too. I'm Later. going to Children of Bodom. Later. Radio Band. That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Bam. Radio Bam every Monday, 7, 4 p.m. Radio Bam every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Faction. Later.